Well, Wally here. Guys, this is my Husqvarna 181 SE British Army issue chainsaw of madness, guys. And it is an absolute nightmare to start. Stay tuned. Yes, guys. Yes, guys. It is a nightmare. An absolute nightmare. Now, if you have one of these chainsaws, uh, a 181 SE, and you are here thinking that I am going to solve your starting problems, guys, this is not that video. I'm hoping it will eventually lead to that video, but this is not that video, okay? So, what I'm doing, guys, is I'm demonstrating how difficult this is to start and the different ways that I start it, okay? Now, Kenzie at Bayou Country Power Saws, guys. This is, I want Kenzie to have a look at this and I want him to, you know, he modifies these saws and he does an absolutely fantastic job, guys. And if you are into modified chainsaws or just you like chainsaws and people are running chainsaws, check out his channel and I will put a link in the description below, guys. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, there's two ways this, this can go. I can very slowly take my time and turn it over and turn it over and turn it over until it will fire and then it will start. Or I can take the spark plug out and turn it over that way, okay? I'm gonna see which way it goes. And just see what happens, guys. There's a, there's not gonna be a lot of editing in this. There's gonna be a lot of huffing and puffing and grunting and <laughs> all that stuff. Okay, let's, let's see if I can set this up so you guys can actually see it. Your standard saw, guys, you know, you pull out the clutch, bang, tree goes, where it goes, okay? I am going to, I'm gonna turn it this way. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to turn it on I'm going to pull out the clutch guys and I'm going to show you what the compression is like okay so this is the way that I do it now when this starts and it runs it starts first time every time it's the initial start that I'm having massive issues with See, and then you go to pull it and it doesn't move. There we go. Oh, you see, and then it gets you.
Stop. Now, that is the first time I've run it since uh, since I got the carb rebuilt. Well, it's the first time I've, I've cut anything with it. Uh, that, the first thing I cut was some very, very, very seasoned beach. Okay, so I'm just going to see if it'll start again. I tend not to drop start stuff, guys. This thing I dropped, tried to drop start, and also the guy in the in the shop tried to drop start this and nearly dislocated his shoulder. Okay, so. This was a barn find, guys. This was my uncle saw that he bought second hand off in an ex military shop, guys. And this was issued to the British Army. Uh, this was a British Army issue saw. And there is so much history in this that I don't want to give it up. But I tell you what it is the, the starting issues. Now, it actually didn't seem that bad there today. The starting issues are putting me off from music because you don't want to be out in the field dealing with stuff like that you know what i mean so anyway listen kenzie have a look at that let me know what you think uh we have it used to be a lot harder but what we did was we changed the spark plug to one where the spark was more recessed and that made it a little bit easier to start and also the guy that worked on this for me a friend of mine opened it up said that there was two two crank seals in it I think I could be getting that wrong where the two where the engine joins together and it's bolted together there was two seals in it and he felt that now he works on motorbikes and stuff and he felt that that was to try and give it a wee bit more room so that it was easier to start anyway that is it guys I will leave the links to Kenzie's channel down below he has a video of one of these cutting down a tree that only came out in the last couple of days and it is just a ripper an absolute ripper of a saw I've just started I'm going to cut some stuff with it yeah. Thanks for watching. Stay frosty.